Eon is for indulgence and decadence. I am both disgusted and impressed. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. Sorry, no. Aurora sales are only permitted through the Astro Lounge. We simply provide a safe haven for you to enjoy it in peace. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather... unique items. A wise choice. Here's your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. Of course I recommend our house specialty, the Chimera. It's a unique triple-layer drink that I believe you'll find quite delightful. It consists of mild cold soju on the top, a thin layer of fruit liqueur in the middle, and a strong dark soju at the bottom. The initial mildness of Chimera slowly warms the senses, which rapidly transitions into a sudden burst of sweetness from the fruit liqueur. This sweetness braces the palate for the impact of the much stronger, robust finish. It's a drink of my own design. Drinks are permitted in the members' lounge. Enjoy your drinks. Thanks, Mike. Excuse me? If you're hiring, I could really use the work. As long as there's a decent launcher aboard, I can make sure all your missiles find their target. Only looking to earn the going rate. No? Then it looks like I need to find a different captain. <laughs> Micah knows how to make a drink. If you wish to relax with some Aurora, I have plenty available. Hello there. On behalf of Euphorica, I welcome you to our member's lounge. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need for my private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? Perhaps I could interest you in a visit to the members' lounge? Excellent. We have plenty for purchase. We also offer an assortment of beverages, so feel free to browse our selection anytime. But of course, take your time. Begging your pardon, I find that fraternizing with the customers can lead to problems. I prefer my private life remain my own. No offense intended. Thank you. Let me know if I can help in any other way. You're welcome to sit back, relax, and enjoy your time here. Hey, Micah, let me get a chimera. Of course. Please enjoy. Thanks, Micah.
Take it easy. questions. If you want to pick up a bounty job, go to the local mission board. Be warned, though. If you think this work is for making a quick credit, you may not be cut out for it. it takes skill, precision, and a willingness to risk your life. We are bounty hunters. We are hired when someone evades the law or some other form of justice. It is up to us to find them and bring them in, alive or dead. Goodbye. Security's got his eyes on Saburo Okadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo. Let us stick to business here, and hopefully business has nothing to do with Aurora. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Then what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here. We'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. Well, of course, the Sky Suite features an open design with an emphasis on luxury. Whether you prefer the morning sky or a neon sunrise, the high ceilings and wall-sized windows will give you a full view of the city's splendor. How unfortunate, but I will be here should you change your mind. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. Mr. Stroud is coming to the Astral Lounge. <laughs> now that is interesting. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. 
Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Come back soon. sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what. But they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the call. They like it. I never had the patience for computer systems. Assume there's a reason that you're disturbing me? Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter. But that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, 
If you care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Well, that was riveting. Arrest. I can't remember if I already searched you. I must have, right? Let's go back to the station. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be out thousands of credits. This could ruin me. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. They like to set up shop in old facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. That way they can strike in. I'll drag you straight to lockup. something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains. I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. 
just in case. Good luck, all of you. There's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. was stronger than I thought. That's what you said two drinks ago. Maybe you should slow down. Yeah, probably time to officially... Yeah. Mm. Hello, what is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Hey. Yes? What? I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. say you're reliable it's what top performers are made of now before we head in there let me go over the ground rules he'll ask for twice what we agreed on that's normal he'll probably try to walk out that's normal too don't worry about the amount we actually settle on the Stroud Eklund discretionary fund is just a chip to you and me our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact anything goes as long as it's in our hands and we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. 
Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. Slayton wants you dead. Get out of here before more Slayton's agents show up. Gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make... An appointment.
Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Oh, there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Hmm, maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, Pierre, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. <clears throat> Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. <laughs> Another room? 
routine of the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Almost there. Door on the right. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
not to point that thing at me. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this, but we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted.
I... Thank you. Use this opportunity to alter the trajectory of your life. You may not receive another chance. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. I think you may be trying to take a little... Too much on? Literally. Mm -hmm. Yes? I keep whatever you give me, yes? That is the deal? Very good. Everything's going my way.
and succeed at that before we are discovered. Keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Yeah. 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 Yeah